Pechora Sea Russian, Pekorskoy Mor or Pekorskoy Mor, is a sea at the northwest of Russia, the southeastern part of the Barents Sea. The western border of the sea is off Kolgayev Island, while the eastern border is the western coasts of Vagach Island and the Ujorsky Peninsula, and the northern border the southern end of Novaya Zemlya. The Pechora Sea is quite shallow, its average depth being only 6 meters. The deepest point reaches 210 meters. In the southern part of the sea runs the eastward flowing Kolgayev current. There are a few islands close to the coast, the largest of which is Dolji Island. The Pechora Sea is blocked by floating ice from November to June. The main river entering the sea is the Pechora. History Historically, before the adjacent Barents Sea was named as such, the Pechora Sea's own name was already established. The rest of the present-day Barents Sea was known then as Sea of Murmansk, Murmanskoy Mori. The Pechora Sea was used as a starting point of the exploration of the hitherto unknown icy seas lying to the east. The earliest recorded voyage across the Pechora Sea through the Ujorsky Strait was made by early Russian explorer Uleb, from Nizhny Novgorod. Ulib's passing into the Kara Sea was recorded in 1032. Russian Palmers, the coastal dwellers of the White Sea shores, explored this sea and the coast of Novaya Zemlya since the 11th century. The Arctic's first shipping line, the Great Mangazia route, from the White Sea to the Ob River and the Yenisei Gulf began operating in the latter part of the 16th century. This line opened up the way to Siberia s riches and it worked until 1619, when it was closed for military and political reasons, for fear of possible penetration by Europeans into Siberia. Ecology The fisheries of the Barents Sea, in particular the cod fisheries, are of great importance for both Norway and Russia. There is a diversity of benthic fauna on the Pechora Sea floor. In addition, there is a genetically distinct polar bear population associated with the Barents Sea. So-called Karskaya group of beluga whales migrate into Pechora Sea for wintering. Various species such as walruses are under threat of possible pollutions. In current times there is some oil drilling in the Pechora Sea at the Dolginskoy and Priraslomnoy oil fields. The negative ecological impact of such industrial exploitation in the Pechora Sea coast is significant. According to Greenpeace and the World Wildlife Fund Gazprom is not prepared to deal adequately with a spill associated with oil production. As such, in September, 2013, Greenpeace staged a confrontation with the Russian Coast Guard in which Greenpeace activists approached and attempted to scale a Gazprom drilling platform. References Encyclopædia Britannica Sav Dali 2004, Benthic Fauna in the Pechora Sea. In, Oslo Database. Norwegian Polar Institute, Polar Environmental Centre, Akvaplan Niva, Tromso, Norway, 10 September 2004 1. Benthic Fauna, 2 C. Michael Hogan 2008, Polar Bear, Ursus Maritimus, GlobalTwitcher.com, ed. Niklas Stromberg Oil and Gas Resources in Northwest Russia 2008-3 S.A. Ogorodov 2004 Human Impact on Coastal Stability in the Pechora Sea 4 Leonid Sverdlov, member of the Russian Geographic Society, Russian Naval Officers and Geographic Exploration in Northern Russia. C. Raymond Beasley, The Russian Expansion Towards Asia and the Arctic in the Middle Ages to 1500. The American Historical Review Topic. Line notes Topic. 